We could spin records. So we could play stuff on top and come in, you know, I mean, be a bass line and then be another, you know, bass line or guitar lick. I mean, it was amazing. Or, you know, drop a, a vocal thing in there. At midpoint in a song, I could switch to this other song and then I could switch back to this other song. I mean, today, that's the, that's the, the DJ, the mix master, what have you. That's what we were doing back then, only on the radio. This whole era of inhaling stuff, culture, <laughs> lots of stuff, but culture, music was part of that, um, social issues, and um, marijuana and stuff. People were just inhaling things, and they were new experiences, and there was a media there to promote it, and there wasn't one before. It was about f literally free-form connections, spontaneous connections, whether it was between individual songs, or between the radio programmers and their audience that communicated an entire ethos to the culture surrounding them. Well, we were just in there with basically two turntables and our own ingenuity. That's what I loved about it. You know, we were all, we were like a bunch of painters. Every day, it's like a new painting. This was the year after the Summer of Love. This was the years, the Vietnam War years. These were, you know, tough times and lovely times. And the combination of all of that, the uh, political attitudes, the music awakening uh, in the San Francisco scene and what have you, was the beginning of, of KSAN. And KZAP was right behind that. KZAP pioneered Sacramento's freeform radio experiment. They had seen earlier examples in the Bay Area and decided that they could do it here as well as anywhere else. There were people who already had experience being DJs, people with pretty deep record collections, and they felt that there was a niche that needed filling. KZAP, I think, was known as sort of what they called a breakout station in, in this market where we, the San Francisco people would come and bring something that they weren't playing in San Francisco yet and play it for us and we'd get on it. And next thing you know, a lot of people were playing it. We were all young and frankly inexperienced, but we were creating what in our mind was the perfect radio station, perfect freedom to do whatever we wanted to do. And we were all in agreement. We we're all of one mind about freeform radio. Explore every river of American music. Digging. 